Good day, students. So I'm just quickly going to be going over um, how to use a TI-84 or 83 calculator to accomplish the following goals, which are to uh, find the equation of the regression line, the coefficient of correlation, the coefficient of determination, and to sketch the scattered plot um, of the data, this data, and the regression line or the line of best speaking in the same coordinate system. Okay? So this is the data set we're going to be referring to. So first thing I'm going to do is we need to enter this list into the calculator in order to generate the equation of the regression line, all right? So uh, we're going to go to the stats menu right here, stats, and then we're going to edit, press edit. So this is the quickest way of storing in um, uh, items into the, into the list menu, okay? So let's enter the first column, the X, into list 1, and I'm going to enter the Y into list 2, okay? So for the X, we have 1. This is the number enter and then it goes down to the next cell uh to the second row of the first column and then two enter three enter four enter five enter six enter seven enter okay so we have five rows on list one and now we're going to go to list two and populate it using these uh these values um in y here okay so three is the first one three enter two enter 5, enter, 7, enter, 5, enter, 6, enter, 9, enter, okay? So just go over, you can go over your entry just to make sure that how it lines up, 5, 5, 4, 7, 3, 5, 2, 2, go up, 1, 3, and everything lines up perfectly, okay? All right, um... All right, another way to enter the a long list is you can just go to the top, have that highlighted, and then you enter a uh, squiggly bracket, and then you can just enter the list. So let's say I wanted to enter 1, 3, 5, and list 3. So go to the top and have L3 highlighted, and then you enter 1, comma, 3, comma, 5. Close it with a squiggly bracket, press enter. Notice how all three elements are entered into list 3 without me pressing enter multiple times. So that's a quick way to a shortcut for entering um, elements into the list. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and delete these three entries. You just highlight the cell, press delete, and that takes out the element. All right, so we're just focusing on this one and list two. Now that we have it entered, I'm going to quit back to the home screen. I want the equation of the regression line. So I'll go back to stats. This is a calculate menu, so scroll to the right, calculate. And then what we're looking for is a linear regression, all right? And notice there are a whole bunch of linear uh, regression options here, quadratic, cubic, quartic. We also have natural logarithmic regression. And um, you, have, you also have uh, exponential regression, okay? So let's find the linear regression line. All right, so for the linear regression, all right, so if you notice, there are two linear regressions here, ax plus b and a plus bx. This is the standard form that we're going to be using. So it's basically the equation of a line, um, but it's switched around here. So we're going to use option A to calculate our, our linear equation of our linear regression, okay? So let's highlight that. We're going to press enter, linear regression, and I press enter, and it gives me these values, okay? So the equation of our linear regression, this is for option A, um, is as follows. It's uh, y equals a is 1.5713. I'm taking it to five decimal places. Um, plus bx, t is 0 0.92857. Okay, 57x. So this is your equation of linear regression. The more decimal points you have, the more accurate your, your the equation of your uh, regression line will be. All right, so there, there you have it. Okay, um, so remember the equation of regression line is y equals a plus bx. And in this calculator, you notice a is 1.57142 and b is that. So I plug in these two values into this equation up here to generate this equation. So this is the answer for option a, the equation of my regression line. Okay, now b, we need to find the coefficient of correlation, which is known as r. r are the coefficient of correlation. 
All right, so how, how do we find this? Well, what we need to do is we need to go to catalog and turn on diagnostic, okay? So you're gonna catalog right here is the, uh, the second function option of the zero. So I'm gonna go second function zero to access the catalog menu. And then I need to scroll down to D, but a quicker way to scroll is just press the alphabet with the D right here, this D, so press D. Uh, and then I'm gonna look for diagnostic on. I can turn on diagnostic on or off. Uh, diagnostic off conceals the coefficient of correlation and determination. Diagnostic on reveals them. Okay, so I want the diagnostic to be on so I can find out what the values of the coefficient of correlation and the coefficient of determination are. All right, so I press enter. Diagnostic on, enter again, done. So I can call up the linear regression command, or I can press second function entry twice, one, and then second function entry again. Linear regression, press enter, voila. You notice it gives me, it gave me what I had before, and it gives me two pieces of information. R is a coefficient of correlation, okay? So let's write that down. The coefficient of correlation R, let's write it to five decimal places, is 0 0.8. Four nine eight, uh, nine eight four. Okay, to five decimal places. All right, and then the the C part asks for the coefficient of determination. R square is a coefficient of determination. Okay, coefficient of determination. All right. So what is the coefficient of determination? What's R square here? R square is simply 0 0.71234.5. Notice they're all twos there, so there you have it. Okay? So one thing I just want to highlight is you notice for the linear regression command, I did not specify what my lists were. This is because I just have two lists. And then um, the default assignment is to take list one as um, the first list, as the x, and then list two as the y. If you want to be more specific, um, if you have a whole bunch of lists, you can go back to stats, calculate. Uh, we're using option 8, scroll down to 8. And then you can specify the list that you want to calculate the linear regression. So you can only enter two lists, okay, because this is a two-dimensional one. So I'm going to go second function 1, list 1, comma, second function 2, list 2, enter. There. Okay? You see how it gave me, it gave me the same answer, the same result, all right, as, as what I did before. So if you have only two columns, you know you do not need to specify the lists, but if you have more than two lists, then you have to be specific as to what list you want to calculate the uh, regression line and the coefficient of correlation and determination of, all right? So now we want to do the, uh, we want to sketch a graph, okay? So what I'm going to do, you see the stats plot menu right here? I'm going to press second function stats and I'm going to turn it on, okay? So what kind of uh, stats do I want? I just want to graph points, so type Go down to this right here, so like that. I want graph points as opposed to having the points connected. This is a connected graph. This is a bar chart. I want to have these points. Okay, so highlight points. What kind of? How do I want my points to be graphed? Is it boxes, stars, or just points? Let's use stars here. Okay. So enter. This is the effects of the line. Make sure that the x list is L1 and the y list is L2. If you have different lists that you want to graph, you have to specify what lists you want here, okay? Let's say you wanted L3, for example, you have to indicate um, L3 for the list. But I want L1, so L1 for the X, right here, so L1, and then L2, right? So we have it set because we have only two uh, columns in our lists. So this is the default assignment, all right? So let's graph it. Oh, let me stop this. I'm actually graphing and clear that. Uh, so there goes the points. Okay. So these are the points. Um, but we also need a regression line. There are two ways we can do this. We can um, we can graph these points, and we can use this equation. We got an A enter in our calculator to graph the regression line, which is easier. But there's a more advanced method to do it, which is easy to forget. So I'm going to show you the easy method first. And then I'll show you the more advanced method, which uh, is easy to forget. So if you forget uh, how to do the advanced method, just enter it just like this in the Y menu, and it's easy to graph. Okay, so I'm going to do the, the easy method. So press Y. I'm going to enter this function the way it is. 
Notice the more decimal points you have, the more accurate your line is going to be, okay? Plus 0.92857x, enter, graph. Now, yeah. there goes your line, okay? All right, uh, let me enter this again. It looks like I left out the one, so I need to insert a one right there. Let's grab it again. Okay, that's more like it. Okay, so there you have it. Now, this is uh, 1.57143.928567. Uh, now, this is the easy way of doing it. Now, the more advanced way has more decimal places, so it's much more accurate. So, let me show you the more advanced way of doing it. I'm going to clear this for the graph. Notice you just have the point. Now, the method I'm going to use, what it does is it stores, it's going to store these values into Y1, and then I can graph it perfectly, okay? So what you're going to do here is you're going to go to the um, home menu, and you're going to call the linear regression function again. So how do I do that? I go to steps, calculate, linear regression, oh, sorry, stats. Calculate. I'm going to option A. You can scroll down to A to just hit the A button. Uh, it gives you access to this function, this command. Okay. So uh, let's specify the lists here. Uh, list one, second function one, comma list two, second function L two. Now I'm going to store the. I want the. I want the results stored in Y one so I can graph it. Okay. So I need to put in Y one here. So one way to do it is by going to variables. Press variables y variables press enter and then enter for y1 okay so what this does is it calculates all this and it stores the a and b into the into the uh, m and x m and uh b value for the line okay and it stores that into the into the into the y1 menu okay so press enter okay so it gives me the results i had before check this out when i press y1 you see how it enters it here with so many decimal places that your graph is going to be perfect. Remember, the more decimal places you have, the more accurate the line of this fit is, okay? So it has it stored there. Now when I press graph, check this out. Bam, there goes the line. Okay, so the method I just show you, showed you is more advanced. The other method, you don't need to learn the procedures. You just enter the answer you have here into your Y menu and you get similar similar results, okay? So that's, that's basically um, how, how you do it. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking here so you can get cool tips to uh, how to use your TI-83, uh, 84 and 89 calculators such as this. More videos can be found on MacRichard.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.